And we're back. Um, I found a key in the last episode, so I think it leads to this door. The key doesn't fit. Of course it doesn't fit. What about this door? What about this door? What about this door? It's unlocked. Yeah, yes. Right the proper goodly. What? I don't understand. I'm in all of these photos. They're stalking oh. you, Jack. They want to have your babies. Mistake. Why would they want me here? Because they think you're cute. Case. Something I've forgotten. A screwball with a grudge, maybe. Yep, that's it. Think. I've got to think. Jack. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe, Jack. Breathe. Breathe. Calm your cheese tits. Okay? What's this? Typewriter? Another key. This should fit the door. All these photos and clippings are of me. I just don't get it. Um, I'm assuming it has something to do with the fact that you're going to squeeze a god out of your man vagina. It's unlocked. Good. Can we close the door? We can! Oh, that's kind of a troubling mechanic. That probably means we're gonna have to hide from things. Hmm! Okay. It appears to be a private study area. There's something in that drawer. Take it. The I drawer holds an ancient manuscript. Hold on, I found a thing. Uh, this myth, uh, this manuscript looks medieval, but it claims to be a translation from classical Greek of a far older work from before the first time of humans. The pages are stained and faded, and even burned in some places, making the reading difficult, and legible sections tell from the history of an unthinkably distant antiquity. Huh. The speak of race is so strange from beyond human comprehension. It's fought across vast... Wait, is this the thing? Oh, no, this is what I just picked up. Their concepts so utterly alien, they sound like absolute madness. Time travel, flying polyps, mental projection, great race of yith. It makes you dizzy just to read it. Okay. Script. The symbols on the front seem to be written in... It appears to be a private study area. Okay, yeah, we got that. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. Okay, not gonna lie, that mirror scared me for a minute. I thought it was a window. Um, I'm guessing it means we have to go this way? Shit, that did not sound good. Uh, yeah, Jack, I'm with you on this one. I don't really like it much either. Ow! Well, that's just swell. You owe me an apology, Stairs. That was uncalled for. Oh. Uh. You got killed by a murder pole. Okay, could you... Stop that. Could you chill? Who? Who? Okay, good. Whoa! Are we in anatomy class? Wash your hands. This sink would be used for scrubbing up. Now, look at the body. They must have been trying to preserve the bodies. Shit? No, okay. I don't think I want to look around here much. This is... Is there anything of use here? Seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical equipment. This... Uh, I'm in Silent Hill mode. I still am and I still always will be. I would think health drinks right there. Out the brain hole. friend oh looks like his kidneys kidneys they're moving around in all that liquid this pipe must drain the waste from his intestines that's an intestine that's a brain that's the thing what's this ah it's too good god what the hell is all this Let's touch that Shit. I'm not touching it again. I'm not touching it again. Um. I'm sorry, friends. I'm really sorry. 
can I? The crystal's still warm. Oh, I can take it. I took it. I'm sorry I took your crystal. Oh, wow, -y caboodles. That's grim. Holy crap, that's grim. Okay. Open that door. This tunnel feels like it's gonna collapse at any moment. Oh, Jack, shut up. That's, those aren't good things to say. What? Why are we in StarCraft? What is this? Where are we? It's a similar shape to the slot upstairs. Oh, and and we have a we have a dingle hopper for it. We have a a a a, a crystal, a gauntlet crystal. Yes, for those of you who are watching Gauntlet Dark Legacy with me and the the green the green scorpion. Press the thing. Touch it. No. That was bad, Jack. No, we did it bad. We did it bad. What did we do? Okay, we're gonna be fine. Look at the pretty lights. We're gonna be fine, Jack. We're gonna we're gonna be fine. Oh, we're not gonna be fine, are we? What is that? What? You are a lot less menacing than I thought you'd be. You look like a brontosaurus. Mysterious phone call, just... Uh. How am I supposed to read those quippets if they keep cutting away? It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. I'm just gonna not talk during the cutscene. But to so. me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia. That's a good game, by the way. It, probably brought on by acute mental stress. Or a cheese sandwich. Think about that. I like how I say I'm not I gonna talk during the cutscene, and then I the don't far shut side up. Of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours. This is really Only grim so far. Only later collapsed on the floor. I'm not gonna lie. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to the asylum. Where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became oh, clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. So wait, did he hang himself or did they save him? In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I guess obviously they I'm saved him. I'm beginning to remember things from that day. Yeah. More than six years past that I've told. Jack Walters. Hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, it's one of my store managers, you see. 
Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast. Not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... Uh, what the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Alright, so we have to go find some guy named Brian. New client, February 6, 1922 night. I have a new client named Mr. Arthur Anderson, the regional manager at First National Grocery Store chain. It appears the First National Grocery Store in Innsmouth was recently burglarized. This manager, one Brian Burnham, is missing. From what I have been able to gather, Mr. Burnham is something of a young rogue. A friend of the family, Mr. Anderson, gave him the job for a favor. Burnham is looking like a prime suspect for the robbery. Robbery? Robbery? Ba 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 ba. But there are a few things that don't add up, not to Mr. Anderson and not to me. For instance, why would Burnham force entry into the store when he had a full set of keys, free access to the cash register, and a combination to the back office safe? I can't read. <laughs> to misdirect any investigation, if that was the plan, why did he disappear? Following my conversation with Mr. Anderson, I found out about the Asian town of Innsmouth. For generations, the crumbling seaport and its people have been shunned by neighboring communities. Outsiders are unwelcome, and there are superstitious tales of a strange element in the town's oldest families. There are, they are mixed blood, so the stories go. Whatever was supposed to... Uh, da. And after making a brief visit to Smith, my client came to the local authorities. You have a read of that. I really don't like reading things out loud on YouTube, by the way. I don't. Visit to the old town. I'm not. There, I read it. Now you guys pause it and read it for yourselves. Because that is what you're supposed to do. Yay. For, oh, you'll have a permanent supply of morphine. Yeah, I like how it says pay attention to the dialogue, but it cuts it off as I'm trying to read it. Saving. All right, well, then I think that's a good, as good a place as any to cut the video here. So I love you all. Stay frosty.